Hello everyone and a warm welcome to all the participants to this virtual global investment convention 2023 10th edition. Moving ahead, I would like to highlight a wonderful business location in Europe that is Hanover. Hanover is a home to various global industrial players who have evolved from traditional businesses dating back to the 19th century. A central location for well-known companies, innovative ideas and excellent training. Hanover enjoys an outstanding reputation worldwide. Hanover has extensive experience as a venue for international events. Hanover has been leading international trade fair venue for more than 60 years. Furthermore, it is a highly versatile Congress location with many faces. Well, let's discuss the business opportunities in Hanover, Germany. The total area of this region is around 2,219 square kilometer and the population is around 1.14 million. Also with that, the GDP is around 64.14 billion USD. There are 51,000 businesses that are registered in this region and 44,000 mini businesses. Also with that, we have 237 major businesses. Lower Saxony is the fourth most important exporter in Germany with a total of 105.87 billion USD of total export in, made in Germany. Let me tell you the export statistics of Lower Saxony are as following. As you can see, it is led by motor cars and motor caravans, then followed by chassis, bodies, engines, etc. for motors, then machinery for electricity production and distribution, other machineries and so on. Whereas the import is as following, as you can see, petroleum oil and petroleum gases, with that we have machinery for electricity production and distribution. We have got motor cars and motor caravans, chassis, bodies, engines, etc. and so on. Here is the business in Hanover region by economic sector. It is majorly led by trading repair of motor vehicles at 18.76%, followed by freelance and scientific and technical services, property and housing industry, hospitality sector, health and social services, construction industry, manufacturing industry, information and communication, and other businesses. There are a number of reasons to invest in Hanover, but to name a few, research and science division is amazing, the infrastructure is quite progressive, internationality can be found, number of site options are available and high class staff can be hired and quality of life is also good. With that, the logistics sector in Hanover is as following. The Hanover region is a European logistic hub and an important hinterland port location for seaports in northern Germany. Warehouse space turnover at the end of 2021 was at a high of 4,10,000 square meter. Projects planned or already known for the year 2022 to 2023 add up to approximately 350,000 square meter of warehouse spaces. Here are the major players in the logistics sector. Talking about the mining sector in Germany, revenue in mining and querying was about 22.7 billion USD by the year 2022. An annual growth rate of 3.59% is expected by the year 2027. Approximately there are 71,000 people directly employed in the German mining industry. Also with that, here are the major players in the mining sector of Germany. Now let's discuss the oil and gas sector of Germany. It is second largest refiners in Europe with 2,11,888 barrels per day oil production, 2.4 million oil barrel per day consumed by Germany itself and 2,034 oil barrel per day exports from Germany. Germany imports 77% of its oil consumption. Also with that, let me tell you Germany imports 86% of its natural gas consumption as well. Talking about the number of companies in gas market in Germany, there are 1,038 gas suppliers, 715 gas network operator, there are 31 gas storage operator and 7 natural gas production companies present out here. Here are the major players in the oil and gas sector. Now let's discuss the manufacturing industry in Germany. Revenue in the manufacturing is projected to be around 3,053.6 billion USD at the end of 2022. Talking about the manufacturing industry's revenue, as you can see, has been growing consistently over the years and seems to be quite progressive over the future. Manufacturing industry's contribution to the GDP is as following. It is majorly led by machinery and transport equipment, followed by chemicals, then followed by food beverages and tobacco. Then we've got textile and clothing and others. Here are the major players in the manufacturing industry of Germany. Now let's discuss the ICT and IT industry in Germany. Largest ICT market in the world with around 1,14,209 ICT enterprises present. 
there is a total of 188 billion USD of annual revenue estimated by ICT sector in 2021. A total of 1.3 million employees are employed in by the year 2021. Also with that, there are 6,000 innovation companies that are created every year in Germany. Now, the revenue of IT industry by segment is as following. It is divided between IT service, IT hardware and software. Also with that, the annual technology sector sales forecast of Germany seems to be quite progressing over the years. Here are the major players in the ICT and IT industry. Now we've got the gaming and entertainment industry of Germany, which is something new. Also with that, 11.11 .11 billion USD sales was made in the year 2021 of software and hardware of video games. 71.5% sales share of digital streaming of music was done. Also with that, revenue in the game segment is projected to reach around 3,853 million USD by 2022. Let me tell you the revenue of entertainment and media industry in Germany by segment is as falling and as the figures seems to be quite high. The revenue in game segment and forecasted revenue seems to be quite promising over the years. Here are the major players in the gaming and entertainment industry of Germany. Now we have got the automotive and EV sector in Germany. Let me tell you fifth largest auto market in the entire world. One third of global automotive R&D spending out here and also with that one in five cars in German OEM made. 83% of German registrations are purely electric cars in 2021 and a total of 3 billion USD was spent by government on supporting e-car sales in 2021. Talking about the October 2021 Germany passenger auto registration share as you can see was divided between petrol cars, diesel cars, battery, electricals, hybrid, plug-ins, plug-in hybrid and also other fuels. Here are the major players like Volkswagen, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, BMW and so on present out here. Now we have got the fintech sector in Germany. The financial and insurance companies contribute almost a total of 138 billion USD to the German GDP. The private-owned commercial banks represent the largest segment by assets, accounting for 40% of total assets in the banking segment. Talking about the banking structure in Germany, as you can see, is majorly led at 68% by banks, then followed by we have got life insurance, pension funds, other insurance, reinsurers, retail funds and special funds as well. Here are the major players in the fintech sector. Now these are the trade fairs and exhibitions conducted out here and these are the world class associations and chambers present out here. Thank you so much. Well, and moving ahead, I would like to introduce our GIC Edition 10 Gold Partner, Hanover Impulse GMPH. And I'm pleased to invite Mr. Peter Eisenschmidt, Director of International Affairs at Hanover Impulse GMBH, to present the investment opportunities in Hanover. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Global Investment Convention, the 10th edition, meanwhile. I am Peter Eisenschmidt. I am with Hanover Impulse, which is the Economic Development Agency at the city and the region of Hanover. And I am very happy to be here again, uh, talking to you, getting connected to you, learning uh, about you and your companies, uh, about your uh, plans in the German and the European market, and of course, how we as Hanover as a region of Hanover and as Hanover Impulse, how we can support you in doing so. So, um, yeah, I would like to use this opportunity, first of all, to thank the organizers global, um, for the Global Investments Convention, the people at Crescendo Worldwide for organizing this event and uh, having us here uh, with you. Thank you very much again. I'm very happy again to be here. And of course, I would like to use this opportunity to introduce to you Hanover as your business location in Germany. Hanover, it's a capital of the federal state of Niedersachsen or Lower Saxony. And not only I, I would say it's the most beautiful state in Germany. 
Uh, some people in southern Germany may have a different opinion, but that's okay. Uh, we are convinced that this is not only a very nice location to stay here, to live here, to work here, but only an excellent location to do business. It's in northern Germany, the second largest federal state in, uh, in Germany, uh, with coastlines, with hills, with uh, unique landscapes, with wonderful people and with very interesting businesses. Hanover, it's well, pretty much very well located and central connections, uh, important connections uh, in Central Europe. Um, if you look at the numbers, while the city, the region with 1.2 million people is not that big in international comparison. Uh, it is a large city in Germany, but most importantly, it's well, uh, it's worth to remember the catchment areas uh, which you which you reach out of out of Hanover in a radius of 500 kilometers, which is a very reasonable distance to cover within one business day going back and forth. You reach a, a catchment area of around 130 million people, which is more than a third of the European Union. It's of course not only people in Germany, but also the neighboring countries and this reflects something important about Hanover to know that out of Hanover you can do your business development in the German and the central middle European uh, market extremely well. The city itself if you look at the other numbers is pretty much above average compared to German uh, to German uh, averages regarding the uh, BIP, the purchasing power and uh, it's also known where a worse to know because if you put it into relation the costs you have in Hanover for housing for living uh, of course also employment costs salaries etc and puts it into the relation to the business quality offered by um, uh, by, by Hanover uh, offered by Hanover you have a very very positive ratio compared to other locations in Central Europe so for a number of reasons it's worse to choose Hanover as your location the reason for this, for this excellent uh, situation for companies is, of course, that we are at the crossroads of the major traffic connections in Central Europe, the major autobahn crossing here. We are the first direct hinterland for the uh, important ports in, in Northern Europe, like uh, Hanover, like Rotterdam, but also in our federal states like Wilhelmshaven. Uh, and this excellent logistics situation not only makes us directly an important logistic hub in Central Europe, but as mentioned, is extremely important for many companies doing warehousing, doing distribution, uh, transporting goods to the customers, but also having headquarters here in Hanover to reach out to a number of important other important industry regions in Central Europe, like the Ruhrgebiet area, like the Berlin area, Hamburg, the Frankfurt Main area. It's all within reasonable time, less than two hours can be reached by car or also by other transportations like, um, uh, like high-speed train connections, which we are proud uh, here in Hanover to have the uh, Han Hanover main station, the train station, which has the highest number of high-speed train connections in Germany. So within a very reasonable time, you're all over Germany and can get connected to your customers wherever they are. This excellent situation was also the reason that after the Second World War, the then mili a British military government decided to choose Hanover as a spot, as a location to host a new industrial trade fair to reconnect the German industry after the, after the um, uh, Second World War. Out of this, the Hanover Fair developed. The Deutsche Messe, uh, the German trade fair organization, is headquartered here organizing the most important industrial trade fairs in Germany. Of course, very well known, the Hanover Fair, but also others like the Euroblech, like the Indust International Automobile Ex uh, Exhibition for Commercial Vehicles, the Agritechnica for uh, Agriculture and Agritech, and many, many more. We have millions of visitors coming to Hanover each year. We have Ten thousands of exhibitors, and that means, of course, business potential for you here in Hanover as the world is coming to Hanover. And this is also um, that Hanover, with the 500,000 people in the city, 1.2 million people in the region, 
is very adapted to international guests, uh, very well known uh, for hosting international guests. And the, the city, the region itself is very international. That also makes it easier for international companies to get a start uh, in Germany being located in, in Hanover. We have a long, 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 long history of innovation and um, uh, industries and technologies in our region. Um, the Volkswagen company is located here. Um, and this picture here reflects this. It's not only about the long tradition of indust industries, industrial technologies, innovation, but also looking into the future. And as we know, Many industries are changing uh, right now, seeing big transitions, and this means a lot of business opportunities for companies. I would like to uh, go here a little bit deeper into the topic and what does it mean for you if you choose Hanover. We are proud that we as a region in Europe regarding the, uh, the, the, the people with respect to the field to have the highest uh, number of R&D investments in Europe. This is connected to the big companies. I've mentioned Volkswagen. We are proud to that uh, Continental is headquartered here in, in Hanover. Also, hundreds of suppliers in the automotive industries. Uh, this is one industry uh, sector. Others is automation, uh, robotics, optical technologies. Um, we have a lot of hidden champions here in our region. Uh, all, all of those uh, companies, small, medium size and big companies, which are doing a lot of innovation, uh, developing a lot of new technologies, a lot of new of products. But we also have a very large number of public research institutes on a national level, like the um, Federal, um, uh, Federal Research Institute for Infectious Diseases, like the Laser Center Hanover, like the production center Hanover, or like the DLR, the uh, German uh, Aerospace and Aeronautics Association. So um, there's a lot of public funded R&D happening here, a lot of company based R&D happening here. And all these innovations are, uh, are offering a lot of business potential for companies for different reasons. Um, in general, uh, we can say that with such a waste industry, uh, with such a broad, broad uh, range of industries, from automotive to production to energy so to, to solution, creative industries, financial services, insurance companies, um, all those uh, all those industries are in need uh, are in need for uh, international collaborations. Why? Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty easy. Uh, first of all, we have a demographic change. We have a lack of engineering um, on the one side. On the other side, the industries are doing very well. They, they need people and they are struggling to find the people. And then, of course, due to co co Corona and the ongoing uh, crisis due to the uh, Russian aggression in Ukraine, um, a lot of supply chains have been disturbed, are reorganizing themselves right now. Uh, people, companies are looking for new opportunities and that means international companies have here a chance to get connected to the industries, to offer the services, um, to, um, to, to, to offer the, the, the needs and find, find new business partners. I've listed here a number of sectors. In general, we, we can say that first of all, Everything connected to energy is offering uh, a lot of opportunities here. Our federal state, Niedersachsen, is becoming the most important energy state in, uh, in Germany due to the wind energy and the large areas which we have, uh, which offers also a lot of uh, opportunities in, um, in solar energy. Um, here, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, support is needed. We have, as mentioned, this lack of engineering uh, in Germany. We have a long tradition of engineering in Germany, as you know, um, and uh, a lot of support is here also needed, especially in the automotive and the uh, machinery, but also in the uh, field of energy solutions. Um, Many of the engineering which is needed is also connected to digitalization, especially uh, uh, fintech. Uh, as mentioned, we have a lot of insurance companies here 
um, and from from different areas where a lot of things are changing, but also mobility with, a, of course, with the big uh, automotive companies like Volkswagen, first of all, to mention here. Uh, all those mobility areas are seeing uh, um, are facing a lot of transition regarding autonomous driving, electro vehicles, of course, uh, battery technology, battery uh, energy storage, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. In all these fields, everything is new, and everybody is looking for uh, new business opportunities, and that means opportunities for you coming to Germany. Another important uh, field uh, is the food industry and the agrotech. Um, Niedersachsen, our federal state, is standing for one third of the German food industry. Uh, and again, here with all the changes uh, we are we are seeing, including animal health on the one side, but also new production, uh, food production uh, production uh, approaches, but also drone technologies in in agri tech. Uh, many many fields uh, where where we have opportunities. So, what does it mean? Hanover is a good location for you, first of all, to have a, have a headquarter, which offers you a very convenient access to many important industry areas all over Germany, all over Central Europe on the one side. On the other side, Hanover itself offers a lot of important industries, a lot of partners which are uh, leading in their, in their fields, which are very open to get connected to new companies to new ideas, to new partners. And this means that for you, it's a very good step to consider setting up a location in Germany, to have a presence here, to have a better presence, to get connected. And we as Hanover Impulse, together with our international partners, would be very happy to support you doing this. What we are doing is we have a field of experts, a network of ex experts from all different areas. And we are putting together teams with the right experts helping you. And we'll summarize the whole idea under the brand Hanover International Business Services. A portfolio of services offered by experts, long-term partners of us. Um, we are doing 25, 30 projects per year and this since 2007. So a lot of expertise here summarized. And this expertise is open for you and we have put together a lot of information on our webpage www.hibs-germany.com hips-germany.com Hanover International Business Services feel free to visit the page there are a lot of uh, opportunities also to get connected to us uh, but also on this webpage you find a lot of useful information about when it comes up to answer questions regarding all uh, all aspects of international business expansion into the German market, into the European market. Um, altogether, what I would like to say, welcome to Hanover. We as Hanover Impulse, together with our friends and partners, would be very happy to support you. And this brings me to my last slide. Welcome home. Hanover loves me. Hanover loves you. This is our message. Uh, we would like to invite you to choose Hanover as your location, as, in, as you, your new home in Germany. And therefore, thank you very much for attending the Global Investment Conventions the 10th uh, um, edition. Thank you for joining us today. And I'm very happy and very open to talk to you about your plans. Thank you very much and bye bye.